Are you wondering how to create a listing on Amazon but don't know where to start? I'm going to help you figure that out today. My name is Kristen Lash, and I'm a senior brand manager at My Amazon Guy. So to start creating a listing, you can go to your inventory tab. And generally, I usually just go to add a product if you're doing a singular product. Or if you're doing multiple products at a time, you can do add products via upload in which you would download an inventory template uh, you know, and, and create your listings. You'd be building them out in an Excel spreadsheet. Uh, the simplest way if you're just doing a one-off is to go to add a product. So we're gonna click there. And then if you know that this product is already sold on Amazon or already listed, you can find the UPC and paste that in here. Or if you're adding a brand new product that is not sold on Amazon, you can click on I'm adding a product not sold on Amazon. First thing to do would be to find the relevant category for that product. So say you wanted to sell wine glasses like Momster. We can search that in here and there's going to be a few different um, pathways that can get you there. So it depends on which product category that you want to be. After you've done some competitor research, you can kind of get the best determination of where your competition's listed and what the most relevant category is for your product. Um, so I would probably go into something like home and kitchen, kitchen and dining, dining and entertaining, glassware, et cetera, wine glasses, select that. And then here, it's gonna bring us to our page. So now we can add in our product identifier. You can select from this list based on which um, product code you have. And then we're going to enter in our product title. So this will be the title that shows on the uh, live product page when you post on Amazon. We'll put our brand name in there if you have one. If it doesn't, click this little box. Uh, and then we're going to just start filling out the listing. We can pretty much create what we call a skeleton listing right now and just get the information together so that we can get an ASIN created and uh, start sending your products into FBA or if you are stripping FBM. Uh, you can select that as well. That's where you would go over to this offer page. You don't need to even list a price right away. You can um, put that in later, but you can create your own SKU. Otherwise, Amazon will generate one for you, uh, which they can be kind of lengthy. It's nice to have a SKU naming convention. That's a nice tip to have, especially if you're going to do product variations um, so that they all kind of follow that, uh, that naming convention and it's easier to find in your inventory or catalog. Um, you'll select your condition so we can say new and if it's Amazon you want to click or if you're going to do FBA you want to click here and if you're sending this in yourself so if you're doing FBM merchant fulfilled you would click here instead and you can sh click the, the quantity that you want to start shipping or just put zero if you're not ready to send products in next time but um, I would do something like this here and then you can skip the offer data if you don't yet have the standard price that you want to list it at. And that is the best way to create a new listing. There are other ways to do this. Like I mentioned, there's through your inventory file where we go back and do uh, add products via upload. Here, we would download an inventory file first. Again, you're gonna go to that product category. So if I'm looking for wine glasses, we're gonna go back to the one that I clicked on. So we'd select that and then it's going to find that, um, that, that, that template for you and we can get it for amazon.com. You can also get them for NARF, North American Remote Fulfillment, uh, and or if you're not doing that but you are listed in Canada or Mexico, you can click on these others as well so it will have that template for you. And then you just click generate template and it will create a download here for you and you'll just open that up and it's going to show an Excel file that will um, show all of your fields that you wanna enter in, et cetera. Um, and then one more way, it's not the best way to do it, but if you are working on a listing that you know you're going to be um, pretty much duplicating, but maybe just changing the color or size, you can go straight into your manage inventory, click your little drop down, and do copy listing. And from there, you would pretty much be filling out the same product information, but update with your unique product code, et cetera. Uh, so there's a couple of different ways to 
create a product or, or upload your product onto Amazon. I hope this information is helpful. Uh, please ask any questions that you have in the comments below. And thanks for watching.